from the great plains of Mulgore down the slow green slopes leading eastward across barren lands. Broken and beautiful terrain gives way to a hardy and strong people, my people, the Tauren, er, ignore the number of digits on this hand. When I was thinking about the Tauren, I had a lot of different ideas, and there's a lot of things that could be said about their particular culture, their society, but I wanted most of all was something to represent how strong they were, and at the same time, their unique nature as vegetarians, or herbivores to be slightly more accurate. So today's dish is going to be a vegetarian dish. I don't know if this qualifies as vegan or you know, hits any requirements, dietary requirements. This is just something I made to kind of emulate Tauran lifestyle. Now, one interesting thing about the Taurans, though they know how to rough it, they haven't always had to. In fact, for a decent part of their culture, the Taurans were very prosperous and were wealthy in their own particular type of wealth. In, their, in short, they didn't have a lot of material wealth per se, but a whole lot of access to a plentiful plethora of resources. To wit... And finally, the most critical ingredient of all. This is the last one, right here. I actually wasn't going to add this. You can see it's kind of starting to go bad as is, because I had to keep it in the fridge, because it was over. Our poor friend has, in fact, passed away, ladies and gentlemen. One tablespoon of oil. Go ahead and get that started. I've got this on medium heat. I should probably note, obviously, there's an episode that I actually have recorded, but not let go live for spiced spaghetti. And I know what you're thinking. Yes, you did, Laura. No, 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 no. I made a much better version of that. And I learned some lessons about how to pull flavor out of something while I was doing it. So th what you're about to see is very similar to my normal chili recipe with the inclusion of what we're about to do to pull flavor into the initial. So we're going to leave that heating up for a little bit while we switch back over here and get things chopped. Before I continue, this is the spatula I've been using. It came with the set, it was part of the same thing, and uh... Yeah, apparently I used these a little bit too hard? Shrug? So we're using this one today. Now, I've heard some people say you look for when things are tender. For me, it's about the coloration, especially with onions. You can always tell when the onions have kind of soaked in some of the other flavors you've stirred in. They get this kind of brownish look to them. Almost cooked look, I might say. Which means no oyster in the rest. This might be a little difficult. I'm gonna not be demonstrative. Just drop these suckers in here instead. This is the peppers, 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 the last of the onion that I didn't get earlier, as well as some celery. All right, we're going to go ahead and make sure that is nice and thoroughly mixed. You can kind of tell, well, it's not where we want it to be, but that's okay, because I know how to get it there. I'm going to leave this on here for eh, about five minutes. As always, open away from you. There we go. That's about how that should smell. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to mix in a few more things. First, so these are crushed tomatoes with basil. 
Never done this with basil, actually. Oh yeah, so now we need to turn the heat up to high. Don't worry. There's a method to my madness, I swear. It's giving me ideas for spaghetti sauce. Fun little story. So, this is pretty much the ideal point to add in the meat and the spice. Once upon a time, I added so much ground pepper. It's the spiciest I've ever had it. Not the habaneros, not the peppers or the chili or anything else. No, no, it was the it was this. This is what made it super spicy. So I try to add it in a, a little more measured amount nowadays, especially since this should be pretty spicy as is. Normally, this is also be when I'd add the meat. I just want to talk about that briefly. I have cooked the meat in here, just tossed the meat bits in, and cooked it with the rest of it when we're going to put this on the boil for about 40 minutes. It changes the flavor. You can do that. You can cook the meat separately. You know, you can put it in a rub or slice it up or boil it or whatever you want to do with it and then add it afterwards. That's up to you. I just thought I'd mention it because, you know, this is when I would add it into the pot if I was doing so. You might notice I'm not gesturing with my hand all that much. It's because this area is very hot and I have very little space to work with here before I hit the camera. Anyways. <clears throat> Quick side note, I'm actually curious how this is going to work out, but I have bothered to drain all of the canned stuff we're adding. The corn and the beans. Normally I don't actually do that. Normally I let the liquid from the cans basically add into the flavor and help keep it from getting too dry, especially when I add the meat in. But there's no meat, and I figured the tomatoes this time around would provide plenty of liquidiness. Last one. Last but not least, it's a bit too much for this. I'm gonna need something else. So now the critical part. I think I've mentioned before, usually I cook chili in a crock pot, but we're trying something a little bit different here and I'm hoping this will actually work out a little bit better. But we're gonna have to simulate it a little bit. So we're gonna turn it down from high all the way down to low. Kind of try and contain that excess heat there. And then we're going to let it sit for eh, about 45, 50 minutes. I will see you in about that time. Let's see how it turns out. Whoosh. All right, I've had a look. And it seems the Earth Mother has indeed blessed us with a great bounty. So let's try this. See how it really turned out. Well, <clears throat> mm, that is lovingly spicy and pretty good. I'd like to call that a success. So I hope you've enjoyed this tarin meal. And I suppose I'll see you guys next week for another one. Choo.